sometimes it is much safe for you to just stop praying because this time around somebody will die hello everyone it's ishmael and your priest i welcome you to today's video oh you know like i'm remembering something you know i'm remembering something you know i was going through the bible perhaps in one of the videos i will teach you but i was going through the bible and i got to realize how things work with the lord you see Someone might come and they do you wickedly and it seems like they got away with it. But realistically, nah, they haven't gotten away with it. It has been written down that you have to account. That is why as you are praying, 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 I remember I've been meditating upon this. I'm like, okay, so the way this works, it is not how we as Christians imagine. We have already built our own imaginations that when we pray, when we do this, this is going to happen. And the biggest error is you get to a point where you feel like after I say amen, it's going to happen. No, not always the case. Yes, it can happen immediately. Sometimes it will take days. Sometimes it will take months. Sometimes it will take years. But that prayer has been recorded. And at the end of the day, that person will account. And uh, to validate what um, this, what I'm talking, what I'm saying right now is, I went into the Bible. I looked at different situations. I'm like, okay, when David did this, what happened? When Joseph was in this situation, when Abraham, I'm like, okay, in the case of uh, Jesus or of Joseph, the Lord answered immediately. But then, in another case scenario that was similar to it, it did not happen immediately. It only happened later. So, oh, yes, yeah, now I can see. Error is with us. We fail to understand. We read one passage and we stick to it. We hold on not understanding that, yes, as much as it's a sign. Okay, let me put it like this. You see, when you look at the Bible, it gets to give you clarity and, and, and an indicator that God is able to sort out this matter. He once did it for so and so. Even when a situation is like this, sometimes he can deal with it like this. So it shows us the different, way, different ways in which God can deal with matters. And sometimes such matters can just help us to See that it it is not too different from what you are asking right now. As much as in the Bible, it is not exactly like your case, but this is more similar to the case of. So it means that all in all, you can also sort out the matter. You know what I mean? So it is very likely and easy to just begin to understand that, that we are at fault. That is why don't take your prayers for granted. Don't take your prayers lightly. There's a time that the moment you say it, it's going to happen. I remember years ago, uh, when I was at church, I remember uh, one pastor said this. They were sharing an example that you must learn to guard your mouth, right? You must be careful of what you say with your mouth. Don't play with words anyhow. Even I, I have learned to watch what I say. Because uh, the pastor gave an example like this in this church. Um... They were like one man who was coming from a, uh, a a prayer of fasting, right? And then it's a I think he's a pastor or something. So his uh, daughter, she started being naughty. You know how kids can be at time. And he was like, "Hey man, why are you acting like a crazy child?" I think he said something along those lines, but including the word crazy. And you know what happened? They said that the the child started being crazy for real. He was coming from fasting. And when he said that you are crazy, she became absolutely crazy. And they said like when he prayed to reverse it, the Lord said, I will not reverse it. It's so that whenever you see her, hey, you can remember that you need to guard your mouth. And it became like that for, you know what I mean? So you see the Lord Jesus cursing a fig tree and it indeed it became cursed. You see David cursing his wife to be barren and indeed she became barren. But that was not a case of Every time you say, because in case, just like how we abuse, we, you might want to begin to abuse your power. No, it's like a gun. You can shoot a person, they will die, right? 
But you, sometimes you can shoot a person, they won't die. It's not a guarantee that they're going to die, but they were shot. So that is why even with prayers, that is said to us to understand what happens. There are reasons why that person did not get cursed at the instant. And sometimes if you were to see in the spirit, you're going to say, oh, this person, it's not that they're cursing, that I cursed them with, it's not working. They are protected by na, na, na. But if I was to keep on cursing, cursing, if I was to curse them 1,000 times, they were going to be cursed indeed. So sometimes we just don't understand what is happening. But the bottom line is, a bullet is dangerous, right? So also, your prayers are dangerous. So you see, you might have people that do you wicked. You might have witches that are against you. And they might feel like, they might seem like they are getting away with it all this time. But the bottom line is, uh-uh. If they are to press on, if they are to keep on, one day, the time you do it is going to work. It's not that this other time is not working. That is why if you are to be on the safe side as a Christian, to be confident is to know that no matter how hard it is, I will not curse them. When your parent or your, your spouse makes you to be mad, you must learn to guard your mouth. You'll be like, no, I'm not here to destroy. You keep quiet. Because, yes, sometimes you might say it and it feels like nothing happens. And indeed nothing happens. You don't know. One time you will shoot just here. You'll be like, nobody dies by being shot on the hand. But that person dies indeed. What I'm simply saying to you is this. Guard your mouth. And even in situations which you want to see them change, don't give up on praying. You never know. That day when you say it, it will happen. The walls of Jericho, they did not fall down because of the first day when they went around them. It only fell down when they went on the seventh day. You know what I mean? They were going around day one, day two. It would have been easy for them to go, ah, oh, now it's been three days, hey, I'm done. But their persistence made the walls to fall down. So that's why you will have instances or situations where you pray once and they get resolved. And you will have situations you pray once, nothing changes. And as you persist, they change. That is why sometimes you might think twice. Sometimes you might cast that person out of anger, whereas you don't mean it. That is why it is good also for your benefit because that gives you a room for repentance. That gives you a room to calm down. If everything you say was to happen, oh, you are going to lose your loved ones. You are going to lose those that are, you know what I mean? So it's also good for us, for our prayers not to work instantly because we get a chance to be like, you know what? Let me let them be. I will set it out of anger. I'm sorry. Haven't you ever been gotten angry and you tell somebody ways that you later regret? And you'll be like, no, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. And you find that deep down you mean it, that yes, it was an accident. I was just angry. So it is the same thing. But if you keep on, there are some things that are going to remain as such. I pray, I pray, may the Lord help you in Jesus' name. Amen. And of course, you can book an appointment with me. My details are on the comment section below. See you next time.